Hello YouTube and welcome technically to the Diamond series, but we'll be hopping on the VIP series as well. This is a duo combined combo video where we're going to be doing Sky Labyrinth on both accounts. The reason we're putting them together is both accounts spent money. So if you haven't seen the most recent Diamond series episode, well, what happened here is we went ahead and we bought a little bit of a package. In these value packs, we used some of our story gems to buy this package here that gives us 40 extra mithril pickaxes. Not to mention, we get an additional 20 just for logging in on day four. That's taken us up to a grand total of 165 pickaxes. So the question we're asking today is, can we get to floor 11 and get ourselves some star spawn core fives or potentially stellar shards for these accounts? But the Diamond series has slightly less pickaxes than the VIP series, so we'll be starting with the VIP series today, because that one will be the easiest to get to floor 11. But after that, the question is, can the Diamond series get there as well? So folks, let's make sure everything is finished, and it absolutely is. The only thing I'm left with is just a few more of these green little laurels left on the VIP series. In fact, I have 500 slashes. Do you reckon we can get to 50 laurels exactly? That would be incredible, because that then means I can buy some skins if I wanted to. Or we might do. I've just got to do this four times. So that takes me to 47. Oh, come on. Right now that there is actually a reason to do these standard slashes, I'm actually enjoying it. It's like, ooh, ooh, there's a reason to do this? I get myself some of the greens? Ooh, fun. And as soon as we've done this, we're going to go ahead and check out the Sky Labyrinth and see if we high roll. Ooh, that's our second one. Nice. Right, just two more of those high rolls to do. That'll be pretty good. I missed! No! I'm so bad at this game! Oh, what a noob moment. It was literally right next to- Fuck, this is so quick. Eh. Oh, okay, I'll take that. That was- that- that- that was not pointing at the thing. Skill issue? Chat, you're a skill issue. Get out of here. Unsubbing? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Unsub to YouTube, folks. Oh, there we go. Because I can't click a button in time. Yeah, because that's an important idle heroes <laughs> mechanic. Okay, we have ourselves 54 of these laurels in total, which is not bad from all our smashes. So we now use this to either buy soul symbols or some skins. And I think skins are just an immediate easy choice. It just depends which of these I don't already have, but I'm pretty sure I have every single one of them. All we need to question is whether we have Penny or Seer skin. So if we go into the skins and we have a look, I have both Penny and Seer skin. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just grab whatever. Doesn't matter here. Both of the skins we already own. We'll spend the rest of the stuff getting ourselves these little bags so that we can use them to get rewards. Now, let's go to Sky Labyrinth. This is the real piece of interest. How far can we get in this? Now, normally some people smash here, but I'm going to do this manually because I trust myself a lot more than a smash feature. Is that superstition? Maybe, but also there is a degree of control if you're doing it yourself here. So let's see what we can get. We'll go nice and steady. Ooh, times two. That's fun. Okay. There's a pickaxe. Lovely stuff. And we'll keep on clicking until the exit arrives. There we go. Claim all these rewards and let's go through the portal. And we're going to be mindful of the active skill because we did get a lot of energy on that floor. So we're just going to build ourselves some branches coming out here just so that we can go ahead and use the active skill for Halora if we need to. So we'll click here and we'll click there. We'll use the active skill, blast this through, get ourselves a pickaxe from there. A lot of times two is coming through here as well. Not landing on pickaxes though, and a few more clicks, and the exit will arrive. There you go, guys. We'll claim these rewards. We'll hit up the exit. Well, let's get out of here. Now, let's go ahead and do this thing again. We're going to go ahead and just click through. Now, I think given this floor, should not use Halora's active skill. That's my prediction here. I think we should be absolutely fine, unless we high roll a ton of energy again. <laughs> Which seems to be quite common here. Oh, double pickaxes. Nice. That is really, really good. So we just keep going. Now, I'm I'm scared. Please give us the exit. There we go. That's fine. Grab that map piece. Let's get the heck out of here. Here we go. Ready for another Halora active skills. We're going to click. We're going to click. We're going to take this branching path sideways. And we click again. Use the active. And then grab that energy. And claim all our rewards. Now we're just going to click again. 
and wait until the exit shows up. Here we go. That was... Wow! That was super fast. Yeah, that was really, really good. Go ahead and grab this. And let's go through to the next one. This is going to get me the skin. So we're not even that far into this. But already, I'm feeling like we've high rolled. Now, this floor, if we're lucky, we shouldn't use Halora's active. It should be just before the next floor. Right? So... Oh, no! How many have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21... Oof, right, I really need the exit to appear, like, super soon. There's a pickaxe. Okay. Oh! That was so lucky, because that gets us out of here. Oh my word. That was bonkers. So we click, grab the times two, click again, active skill, plus four for all that extra energy. We have had so much energy from this. This is brilliant. And then we just click through. More energy coming through here as well. Phenomenal. The times two. Hitting another energy. Will we get a pickaxe now? Nope. That's going to be some spirit. Either way, we're getting a good amount of pickaxes coming through as extra rewards as well. And oh my word, the exit came again. This is brilliant. Click on that map piece. We're on two out of three now. And yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. That's floor six cleared. Brilliant. It's going to get us some five-star chests. Fantastic. Now, here I think we're probably going to trigger the active skill, which is a little unfortunate because I don't want to on this floor. I really don't, but I think we have no choice. Yeah, I'm building us some brid bridging paths here. So they come out to the side like that. And yeah, we're going to trigger the active skill. I don't really have a choice. Is it going to trigger the exit, though? That's the question. Oh, it didn't. That's really good. And that's the exit. Oh, brilliant. So I haven't wasted a single hit. Yeah, this feels like we've had a good amount of high rolls here. We've still got 51 pickaxes left, and we're on floor 8. We might even get to 11 here without having to buy any pickaxes. That might be fun. Now, you say an ATD question mark? I don't think we switched to Asmodel yet. If I was going to switch to Asmodel, I think we'll use one more Halora active skill before I do that. That seems like the best thing. So we'll just go ahead and click, because this floor, we should be clearing it out before we go ahead and use our active skill on Halora. So we'll just click. When the exit arrives, then we'll start worrying. That's fantastic. We got ourselves more pickaxes there as well. Get out of here. And now we're probably going to use the active skill on this floor. So let's see. If we can get some energy here, that'd be really nice. Let's see if we max the energy and end up wasting it. I hope we don't, though. We're definitely going to get an active skill on this floor, though. So we'll build up little bridges like this. And then we click here. Ooh, plus two energy. It's a waste to click that. So we click again. Use the active. The exit does arrive, but that's fine. We claim these rewards. We grab that map piece that's going to get us the map exit so we go through here claim all the rewards go back through and now i switch to asmodel i think because we're on what floor Ooh, we're only on floor nine yeah i think asmodel is still the best pick now so we're going to be okay with that grab the energy and let's leave okay now we just do columns and hopefully we get to a point where we use Asmodel's active, and that's all we needed. Let's find out. Okay, now I need to buy pickaxes. So I'm going to get 10 of them. We'll definitely need those. We got double times twos here as well. So we might get ourselves some energy feeding us pickaxes. We did. Nice. Two pickaxes there. Awesome. And ooh, the exit showed up. That's fun. So we get out of here. And we will get an Asmodel active skill on this floor. So we'll go click, click, and we'll do our sideways movement here. Oh, plus two energy. Fantastic. That's going to trigger Asmo's active. That comes down. We claim all those things. Really, really good. So now we need to be careful because this is the last floor we need to be on. This is floor 11. So this is it. So what we're going to do, we're just going to buy pickaxes in small batches. So we'll start with five. That should be completely okay. We'll even grab this here. It's going to be a super wishing coin. And now we're just going to buy them in small amounts, one at a time. 
until the exit arrives. Let's see if it does. Nice, there's another pickaxe. Keep going. Okay, times two. What's this going to hit? There it is. That's the exit. Claim all that. And my friends, we have reached floor 11, getting our material selection chest for the mid-autumn event. Fantastic. Look at that. That could be Stellar Shards. That could be Star Spawn Core 5s. Very nice. We have here 18 pickaxes left, which means if the Diamond Series did this, there is a likely chance it wouldn't have reached the end. So we've managed to get to floor 11 on the VIP series. Let's see if this one gets to floor 11. This is going to be significantly harder. We'd have been two pickaxes short if we got as lucky as we did on the VIP series. So this one is the one the chat's kind of scared because people have invested in this. There's been a, like a bit of a gamble in chat right now. People betting whether we'll get to floor 11 on both of the accounts. Some people don't think it's going to happen. Some people do think it's going to happen. And that's what makes this interesting. Starting off with a 22 on a clear here. That's very good. That's a nice start with Halora. Okay, we'll build ourselves a column as always. Get our times two here. Maybe we can hit some pickaxes. We absolutely do. That's going to be four pickaxes. Whoa! What a high roll. That is absolutely sexy. We got our plus four here into a plus two. Really nice. Now let's build some side paths here. Let's go. We'll be getting active. We get another pickaxe. That's nice. So we click here. We get the active skill. The exit doesn't arrive, so nothing is wasted. There's another pickaxe coming through. And where's the exit? Is it going to come through at all? Oh my word, that took a while. Okay, next floor. Here we go. This one should just be a matter of clicking. I don't think Halora is going to be able to go ahead and get us anything here when it comes to using her active skill. We'll just click and let it happen. Pretty sure the exit can arrive any moment now. Just got to wait until it arrives. There it is. Claim everything. Grab that map piece. And get the hell out of here. Let's see if this is going to be a good active skill or not here from Halora. There's a plus two energy. That's fantastic. We really ought to think about building our branching paths here. There's the times two. We're going to come out this way as well. Click on there. Click here. Use the active. There you go. Clear that box out. Now we just click around, putting more energy into Halora until the exit shows up. That came really early. That was fantastic. And we were on 90 pickaxes left. Now, you're probably curious how close are we? We've done four floors already with 90 pickaxes plus the 40 remaining. That's 130 pickaxes. We need 130 to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven floors. That's going to be hard to do. Seven floors is risky. So we might not get there. I don't know if we will. If I was a gambling man, I'd have my prediction on no. I don't think it's possible. But then again, believers, there is still a chance. Let me know in the comment section if you think we're going to get this far at this point right now. Don't skip to the end and try and predict. Just say, oh, this is what I think is going to happen. Because that's more fun that way. It's more genuine. It's also interesting if you want to scroll down to the comment section, see what people have said. Dallas are a big L, Meza. I wouldn't get so sure. Because there is a very good chance this doesn't work out. So we're just going to drop down. And we're going to see. Unlucky or lucky? We need our branches. There's our plus two. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here. Click again. And again. There's our active for Halora. Clearing out a nice big chunk. There's a map piece as well. Do a few more clicks. Wait until the exit arrives. What's it going to be? There it is. Coming through nice and quick. Very, very cool. We're on 52 remaining. It's not bad. There's still a good chance we get there. We just need to do five more floors. And we have 92 pickaxes in total if you add these 40 that we've got that we can grab. So, folks, here we are. Let's do another column. And let's get pushing with Halora. This one should be pretty easy. We're getting some energy here as well. We need energy and pickaxes to make this more reliable. That's for sure. There's another pickaxe there as well. Very helpful. Right. Plus two energy again. Nice. We really need an exit here. I don't want to float the energy. Fantastic. That's good. That means we'll definitely get energy on the next floor. Yeah, this is good. This is really, really good. So we'll come down, then come across, 
like so. There's plus two energy. So we'll just go ahead and click again. Active skill. Beautiful. Now, where are we here? We're on floor eight still. So I think we can get one more Halora active before we want to switch to Asmodel. We're in a really nice position either way. A lot of pickaxes coming through here as well. That's a double as well. Nice. Times two. What's this going to grab me? Only spirit. Didn't get me pickaxes. But we'll click. Maybe something will come. More pickaxes coming through here too. Ooh, this is taking a while for the exit. I didn't like that floor at all. We've only got 14 pickaxes remaining. This is really close. You can see the non-believers in chat. The people that are nervous. The people that are like, oh no. I don't know if he's going to get it or not. We're on 54 pickaxes in total. We have 9, 10, and 11 to do. This is going to be really, really close. I'm scared. I'm so, so scared. There's a times two. We've got some energy coming through here. Energy is really, really good. There's a pickaxe. That's a double pickaxe. Oh, my word. That's brilliant. There's our map piece. That's going to take us to three maps. So let's go into here. Let's claim all our rewards. And then we're going to head back out. So that's a ton of resources. Oh, more energy. Oh, are we going to get an active on this floor? We absolutely are going to get an active on this floor. That's really, really helpful. Nice. Oh, plus two energy again. Oh, we're going to need some paths here. So let's let's get them in. Absolutely. So I'm just going to grab two pickaxes here. So we go one there. One there. Active. Does this get the exit in? It does. Fantastic. Really, really clean. So we grab our times two here and we get out of here. And now this is where things get hard because... Oh boy, we have two floors. I think we have to switch to Asmodel the Dauntless right now. I don't think we're going to get the 43 energy required for Queen. The only way we do that is if we pick up energy along the way. I mean, surely we get energy along the way, right? <laughs> I think we stay with Halora. If we don't get energy, we get shafted. I think we've got to, because Holora gives us more from her active skill. 38 pickaxes. It's doable. It's so doable. I'm going to take that gamble. I know some people aren't going to like it, but let's just see what happens. We'll start with the column. There you go, guys. Four energy already. Very nice. Now we just need like an extra piece of energy or an extra pickaxe and we're good. There's our extra pickaxe. It paid off. It absolutely paid off. Now if we can get this floor early. That'll be really, really helpful. Uh-oh, folks. We have 18 pickaxes remaining. This is starting to get a bit dicey. Oh, plus four. Hello. But every pickaxe I use on this floor is a pickaxe we don't have for the next floor. And I'm not getting extra pickaxes here. Oh, oh, this is bad. We are low rolling hard. Oh, my word. We are burning through up. Oh, my word. No. What is going on? Where is the exit? There it is. Oh, boys. This is insane we are at floor 11 and i don't know if we're gonna clear it Ooh. that was so many pickaxes used that was 28 pickaxes we have 10 left for the believers in chat i'm gonna use every 10 and if we clear this floor amazing if we don't the non-believers have it wish us luck folks here we go. We got a totem. We got to get ready for that active skill coming through. So we're going to move to the sides here. And here comes Halora's active. Ideally, we need a ton of pickaxes here. We did get a times two. We got some energy. Energy isn't going to help. We'll claim that nonetheless. Oh, I'm nervous. I feel like this... This is it. Can't buy any more pickaxes. We're gonna need some insane high roll. 
I get the energy, but no! I didn't have enough pickaxes. This is absolutely brutal. We are right on the edge. That was horrible. And Asmodel would have won it, you think? that would? I would have got to 53 energy. That would not have been enough for Asmodel actives. Maybe if I switch to Asmodel... <sighs> How 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 early, right? I'd have had to switch to him like three actives ago. No, that wouldn't have happened. That 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 would not have worked. Now, some people are saying use contract story gems. I mean, we're so deep. I don't wanna have to spend contract story gems on the diamond series. Again. We've already done that. But we might have to. Folks, I totally forgot about this. I put a bid on a really nice Aspen with 5,200 attack. I got him. I won. I won the really good Aspen. Yeah. Nice. So we're actually going to go ahead and swap this Aspen for our super Aspen. Yes. Look at this guy. He's beautiful. He's an absolute Chad. 5,200 attack with armor control precision. However, we're going to use our hammer. And we're going to see if we can get ourselves a good stat on him. Let's do it. Armor break heal effect. Hmm. Not a fan of that one. But what that does mean is it means I have a B minus Aspen. Which means I'm going to go to the soul temple. And I am going to disassemble our B minus Aspen. Because I only keep the Aspen around to be a tenant later down the line. And this B copy has 4,000 attack. So we're locking the B Aspen. We're unlocking the B minus. And we are absolutely going to the Soul Temple. And we are destroying the B minus. And that's going to be 300 contract story gems. Nice. That means that I can indeed buy a 250 story gem pack so with that purchased can we get a little bit more out of sky labyrinth it did indeed work out quite nicely now let's see if we can get the exit if i don't get the exit in these eight freaking pickaxes i'm gonna be very upset i got four pickaxes left one two <gasps> That was terrifying. We did it, though. Yay! That worked out beautifully. Fantastic. Really, really nice. Now, I guess that means we need to go into the Starry Gem Mall. We need to buy some hammers. So I'm going to buy one at a time, and we're going to use them to make this Aspen copy really nice. So, folks, let's see. Let's see in the swap menu if we can get him something good. And I got one more pickaxe. I do. I do. I'll use that in a sec. Oh! Hmm. Crit damage, crit damage reduction. That's nice. That's actually pretty good. We'll save that. Oh, we got some promotion stones. You know what? Actually, they're kind of good. <laughs> Secretly goaded. I'm going to do some more hammers. Let's go to the storage gem mall again. Let's buy another one. Let's hammer that Aspen one more time. We want to get him some bonus stats, which we'll never have to hit again. We're looking for holy damage, skill damage, anything like that. Oh, crit damage heal effect? I think crit damage reduction is better, though, because it's reducing the damage we take. He already can heal quite nicely. So I don't think we want that one. Crit damage is still fine, though. So in that case, we go back. We buy ourselves a couple more hammers. And that's it. I have no more hammers after this because I have no more contract story gems. So these are our last two. So let's go see if we can get something real nice. Armor, crit damage reduction. That's just worse. So we cancel that. And here we go, folks. The last one. Crit and crit damage reduction. It's just worse. Boo. Okay. Ah, well, we'll stay with crit damage, crit damage reduction then. And what does that take his crit damage to? He probably has way too much. Yeah, 160%. <laughs> uh, you have too much, bro. We do not need this. I'm off to the auction market. We're going to find ourselves a really cheap C- minus just to get ourselves some more hammers. So let's filter by buyout price. What's really cheap? Oh, oh no, they're not really cheap. Let's try Cs. Ugh, they're not good either. 
One, two, four. Bro, why is the market so scuffed? Fine, I'll just buy one blip blade. Right, there you go. I have successfully bought that blip blade. Don't like it, but that's life. And now we're going to go to the Soul Temple. And we're going to go ahead and destroy him. And we're going to use this to get ourselves some more hammers. So let's hammer again. Come on, get us something with holy damage. Ooh, block holy damage. That's good. That might be a keeper. Because block will synergize with Alamac later down the line. Yeah, I think we'll stay with block holy damage. With block holy damage now on our Aspen. Is that a little bit stronger? His attack stat will be nicely increased as well. He's feeling like a bit of a chunky boy. So now we no longer are overcharged on crit damage. He's back to 135, which is completely fine. And my word, does he look lovely. We need to get ourselves, when we get some more dark food, an E5 Aspen to build up as a tenant, which should be pretty easy to do. Only a double offensive would be better than that. Yeah, absolutely. If we could get with something that's like holy damage, skill damage, that'd be nice. But I'm going to take holy damage block. That feels pretty comfy. Nice and defensive. Pretty solid. 51% block there already. So that's going to be pretty nice. So... With that unlocked, I'm quite happy. And folks, it was a success. Both the VIP series and the Diamond series did get themselves into the Sky Labyrinth, and we did go ahead and clear stage 11. Unfortunately, though, the Diamond series did have to spend some Starry Gems, which was not the most ideal thing in the world, but sometimes it's got to be done to make sure you get good rewards. Either way, I hope you enjoyed that video. Nice little competition between my two main accounts. And if you want to catch more of these series as you can do, we have playlists for both and hit that subscribe button to never miss an upload. Until next time though, I hope you have a fantastic week. And of course guys, happy idling.